If you are a health worker or you know any health workers around you, this video is for them because there is a very great news coming out of Australia. In fact, the region of New, uh, Queensland in Australia is currently paying international health workers, doctors, nurses, or allied health professionals to come and live in Australia. Now, if you want to live in the city of Queensland or the, 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 the township area, the region of Queensland is going to be paying you $20,000 for you to come and live and work in that place. Apart from that, if you want to live in the rural area of Queensland, you'll be paid $70,000 Australian dollars. Now, the gist gets better and better. All you have to do is to follow me to the end of this video. I'm going to be showing you all you need to know about this program this program we know australia is doing different things to bring professionals i've talked about the construction workers some time ago now is the time for health workers whether you're a doctor whether you're a nurse you want to explore australia australia is one of the safest countries in the world australia has some of the most stable economy and they have benefits even for your spouse and your children because if your spouse or your children go with you on this program they're going to be enjoying some benefit like free schooling free accommodation and your spouse can act um free transportation good healthcare system and your spouse can actually work freely in this province all right or this region as the case may be now Australia has some beautiful places you can visit. You can make that place home. I know a lot of people in Australia that have made Australia their home because of some of the beautiful, stable economy, good healthcare system, good studies, good schooling um, that's available for migrants and their family. Now, I'll be taking you to my laptop and I'm going to be showing you how you can make your dream come true if you want to live and study, if you want to live and work in Australia with your family. Remember this program, you have to move with your family. There are some criteria you need to know. There are some things you really need to know. Different healthcare professionals like doctors have a different route, while nurses have a different route. Um, allied health professionals like the radiographers, physiotherapists, um, um, what do they call it? Lab scientists, pharmacists, every other person, they also have the routes they can also take. All right. But before I go there, I want to welcome you if you are seeing me for the first time. I'm Uncle Nos, the bearer of good news, and I bring information that can take you to that dream come true uh, country and make your dream come true if you really want to move out of your country residence to overseas to live and work or even study, as the case may be. All right. Please subscribe to this channel and also follow us on other social media platforms so that you can be getting updated whenever I post something new. I also encourage you to continue to like my video because it also helps Facebook to uh, YouTube to recommend it to other persons and help us grow entirely. All right, to my subscribers, thank you so far because without you, we're not going to be here. So let me take you to my laptop and show you all you need to know about this program. Remember. Share it with your friends who are health workers. Share it on your page. Somebody might also know and benefit from it. Let's go. All right. So this page is the official Queensland government website. All right. And this is dedicated to international healthcare providers. All right. So that doctors, nurses, and other trained professionals in the hospital. So if you want to join the Queensland um, healthcare in Queensland, this is for you, all right? So join Queensland Health for, for a career with purpose, excellent benefits, professional development. We welcome internationally trained healthcare professionals, all right? So we're going to be looking at some of the exciting offers they have for international, uh, internationally trained um, workers or healthcare workers. So Queensland offers an exciting blend of city and regional living and a relaxed outdoor lifestyle. Our hospital and health services vary in size and location from the bustling city on the coast to inland rural centers. Working for us comes with a great benefit, including competitive salary packages and leave entitlements, a diverse work culture, career development, and ongoing training. All right, so you can read working with us. We're going to look at that later. Explore Queensland here from our team. You can listing or read some of the testimonies of people who have worked um or who have worked or who are currently working with these guys all right attractive incentives health workers from overseas who move to queensland may be eligible to for payment of up to twenty thousand dollars health 
health workers from overseas who take up who take care who take a job in regional or remote Queensland may be eligible to up to seventy thousand dollars. All right, so this is already here, so it's not like I'm the one making up the stories. All right, so before you move to Australia, you have to read more about the visa and uh, visas and migration to Queensland, getting overseas qualifications recognized because you need your qualification to be recognized. Then also relocation support. Let's look at the relocation support first. All right. If you're moving to Queensland from another state or territory or from overseas, we may be able to help you to relocate. So they're going to help you relocate. All right. Help you with your moving and travel costs. If you're moving to start a new job with Queensland Health, ask if we can help you help your moving costs. It depends on whether your job is and your role or what your job is and your role. We may be able to help you with flight and airport transfer for you and your family. This is here, you are seeing it. Mileage allowance, overnight or temporary accommodation, relocation, relocating your personal belongings, including furniture and one vehicle, visa application, administrative costs, initial registration. So these are all of the benefits you're going to be getting from them. Now, some hospitals and health services will reimburse you for your costs and other may pay directly for some expenses such as flights all right you can read all these things here to get more uh, more about the who can apply anyone joining queensland healthcare can apply for relocation costs including nurses and midwives gps and doctors dentists allied health professionals such as radiographers and occupational therapists queensland health bonded Scholar, scholarship holders, staff working in the, in other roles such as administration, IT, and finance. All right, so these are everybody can apply. How to apply? We will talk to you about relocation expenses during the recruitment process. If we are able to help, we will include the details in your offer of employment letter. You must give your manager all the receipts for reimbursement within 12 months of starting your job. All right, leaving Queensland Health. All right, this one is for those who are leaving. Um, so work, workforce attraction incentive scheme. When you are joining us from another state or make, make the move from overseas, you may be eligible for up to $20,000. If you take up a job in in regional or rural Queensland, you may be eligible um, for up to seventy thousand dollars, even if you are moving from Brisbane Metro. All right. So these are some of the benefit. A lot of benefit for healthcare workers who wants to migrate to Australia now, especially this Queensland. All right. So at the left here, you see application process, international healthcare applicants relocation support this is what we are looking at right now pre-employment check mandatory vaccine recruitment contacts apply now so let us see application process first what does the application process look like application process we advertise all our jobs on the queensland government smart job website i'll be dropping the link for you all right so that you can actually see it and make application on this website all right if you're a healthcare professional you must register with the APRA national board for your profession check the requirement to practice before you apply for a role all right so you must apply with your board of uh with the APRA national board of your profession so if you're a nurse you must apply to the APRA nursing board if you're a doctor the same apply for the doctor's own all right and so forth and so so on and so forth all right so if you want to use this smart job register for smart my smart job you don't need to create you don't need to create an account to search for a job but you will be asked to create one when you apply for a role all right job search you can search for job vacancy in queensland health by selecting the department in the in the department or organization filter all right so you can also locate um, filter by location, occupational group, salary. You can add more options. All right, so I'll be showing the, the job offer, the, the link. But one thing I want us to know is that, notice that there is importance. It is important that you actually get um, registered with your board or professional, uh, your professional board, all right? Because without that, you might not be able to get 
um, anything um, going forward. All right, health care, health, um, health career for international applicant. All right, so uh, we've talked about this before. So let me show you um, some of the boards, the council boards that you need to know. Then I'm going to show you some of the jobs that are available so that in case you want to start making your applications. All right, so the next thing I'll be talking about is getting your overseas qualification recognized. It is very important that you know that before you get a job, especially for professionals, professionals like doctors, nurses, and other allied health, there's a need for credential evaluation and, and credential recognition, all right? So to find out on this page, you're going to be seeing medic how the doctors, the nurses, and other allied health are going to be um, making their documents recognized or qualifications recognized. To work as a health professional in Queensland, you must apply for and be registered with the relevant Australian National Board. For most healthcare workers, this is managed by App Australian Health Professionals, Health Practitioners Regulation Agency, that is APRA, Australian Health Practitioner Regulatory Agency, APRA. All right, for medical doctors, if you're registering as an international qualified medical practitioner, you must be registered with the Medical Board of Australia. So the link is here. All right. Your level of registration must allow you to start working with us and meet the requirement for your employment. Perform the full duties and responsibilities of your role. Legally practice in accordance with the national law. All right. Assessment pathways. This is for doctors. Before you can be registered, you must be eligible for one of the following assessment pathways competent authority pathways standard pathways or specialist pathways all right read more about the pathways to registration for international medical graduates on the medical board of australia website so you can read more about this on this link here all right so for nurses and midwives the following registration assessment pathways apply to enroll nurses registered nurses and midwives all right. If you're an international qualified nurse or midwife, you must be registered with the Nursing and Medical Board of Australia. Assessment. Before you can be registered, you must complete all the requirements in the outcome based assessment pathways. It is important that you have a good understanding of what it is like to work within the Australian healthcare system as it can be quite different to healthcare systems in other countries. The NMBA has developed an orientation program to introduce international qualified nurses and midwives to a range of concepts relating to the Australian healthcare context. All right, very important. Then finally, for the allied health practitioner, depending on your profession, you may need to have your overseas qualification recognized through the regulatory authority for your specialties or discipline. We have a list of allied health professionals and how to apply for registration for each one. You can also find registration information for international practitioners on the, on the Australia Health Practitioner Regulatory Agency website. So uh, they've given descriptions or a brief summary of how you can go about your registration process and how you can actually um, make it happen for different people, for doctors, for midwives, uh, for not some midwives and for also um, for allied health uh, professionals all right so right now let me show you uh, we're going to go to back we're going to go back to that my smart job so that we can see um how you can can see um, qualify, um job offers that are available and how you can actually make your applications all right i'll be dropping the link to dropping the links in the description so don't get yourself worried you get go to the description and get the link and start making your applications immediately all right guys this is the official website of uh, for the government of um, queensland uh, when it comes to job search that is smartjob.qld.gov.au all right so just like they said before you can actually filter your, your search all right you can actually filter your search by putting your keywords here, maybe nursing. All right. Uh, maybe it depends on how we want to make your search. So location, you can put all location um, for for here. Then occupational group, you can come down based on your your occupation. 
all right so i have put i already put nothing so i can just put click on nothing here all right if a midwife you can put on mid you can put midwife there all right so it depends on your qualification like i said before so um i've put nothing all right so we can just go down and put the salary range of the salary range is already here um, um 70 to minimum then the maximum is 150 and i can just come down here and search okay so there are a lot of positions here for nurses permanent to temporary temporary to permanent roles in brisbane that is south south brisbane and um like this one for instance this is a clinical nurse sexual assault nurse examiner this is a full-time position all right so this msh forensic nursing service are looking for several clinical nurses to join their team this is a specialist service that diverse delivers diverse contemporary nursing care specialist trained nurse provided trauma informed response to people responding to sexual assault working closely with the interprofessional and in, in inter-agency team established to work collaboratively alongside victims survivor of sexual violence the service is trauma informed medically forensically response culturally appropriate and one that addresses the ongoing psychosocial needs of persons and organizations across the service all right so we can just come down here and see the pay the pay is around 107 to $115,000 yearly. All right, so this position will be closing 29th of July. In case you have the requirement, you can apply. The clinical nurse consultant, you can actually apply for this also. This one will be closing on 25th of July and the pay is $132,000 um, to $143,000. This is the grade seven nurse position. There's also position for registered nurses in the emergency department. All right, you can actually apply for this. There are a lot of positions here. So your salary range, your salary range um, is, um, this is a grade five nursing position. Salary ranges from 80 to 103. Um, so it's, it's different remuneration for different position, all right? So this uh, mental health position, mental health nurse position, all right? and the pay too here so i'm closing in september 2024 all right you can so the position is open to september so if you start now to get your license and application you might still get to apply for these positions all right so there are a lot of positions here even for enrolled nurses there are a lot of positions here for registered for registered nurses mental health nurses you can this one is closing 2030 so they are continue their employment is continuous look at this one 2030 so it's not like it's closing now they, they need you that is the, oh, oh boy it's closing 2030 so they need they need mental health nurses in australia because there are a lot of open positions all right so intensive care nurses also this one closes 2030 look at the pay Look at the um, date of closure, all right, of closing, all right. So this is a registered intensive care expression of interest, all right. This is very important. All these positions are for registered nurses, all right. If you are interested, you can actually make this application because it is ongoing, all right. There's a position for anesthetic, um, post anesthetic care nurses also a lot of money and the positions are open all right start making your applications right now lots of benefits if you're working night shifts it's a different pay you get more benefits if you are working the night shift all right so let us look at other um look at other professionals all right so this is nurses we can see that there are a lot of positions for nurses so why not we look at um maybe doctors and see what they have for doctors so 
uh, we can actually balance the scale. All right. So this is so we already talked about nurses. Let's look for uh, medical doctors. All right. So we'll come here under occupational group. We'll look for medical doctors. They are different. Um, people on this list, where are they? MD, MD. So this is dentistry. All right, so this is dentistry. We just click on this and let us just search and see the positions that are there. Okay, let's look for medical doctor, medical doctor. I'm not just, okay, health medical, all right? So, let us search and see what we're gonna get. All right, so for medical doctors, we are see resident medical doc officer, junior and senior. This is Brisbane North. So you're going to be undertaking full-time 10 to 12 12 weeks or half time rotation in clinic units across multiple disciplines. This will be closing on the 31st of December 2024. Junior Medical Officer Talent Pool Express of Interest. All right, this one will be giving you, uh, you can submit to Express of Interest here. All right, and this one uh, closes this ongoing. It doesn't, it's ongoing, so you can actually make an application. You know, Principal House Officer. This is very important. Doctors, you can actually take advantage of this and start making um, your applications, all right? Then principal, there are a lot of positions for doctors here who want to work um, in Queensland, all right? So what else have I not said? I'll be dropping the link in the description of this video so that you can actually um, go through them so that this video will not be too long because there are a lot of information. You cannot just do it, say everything else in one video. I would advise you to please click on the um, description of the bot of the video. You're going to see different rules for you if you're health workers. And even those that are not health workers, there are still positions for them. We saw that they save people that are in the finance, in the IT sector. They can actually um, make the applications. All right. So if you are interested, just look at, let me just look at IT, for instance, IT and um IT at telecoms, all right? So let us see, so that you know it's not only for, for for health workers, actually. Even though they are giving all the incentives to health workers, every other person too can also get some incentive, all right? Let us look at IT and see what they have for IT people. All right, so see, Senior Support Analyst in Queensland. So I'll be ending August 2024. All right, System Tester, Office of Public Guardian, Brisbane inner city, so it so will be ending August 2024. So you can actually look for jobs here in Australia if you are interested to start making Australia your home or your family's home. Remember, they can they are supporting you with your travel plans, they are supporting you with um, travel expenses. You can actually move with your family if you are fortunate to get these positions. All right, that's all from me today. I will not be uh, spending much time. I'll be dropping the link for you in the description of the video so that you can actually start making your applications. All right, I wish you all the best and continue to share this video with your friends and loved ones. Stay blessed.